Good morning. Um, Cowboy Jimmy. Oh, one law that I just broke, I wasn't ready. Oh, geez. It's like when I talk quite often, heart's there, but the mind's not working. I, I am greatly concerned. Um, we haven't heard any figures, uh, and I don't think the government's going to let us. Uh, well, I think there are a lot of people who have, um, out of abject fear, uh, chosen to no longer try, uh, to no longer care. Um, I'm concerned that many, too many, one too many, have taken the easy way out. I, I, will, I, the desire of my heart is to encourage you to hope. And uh, so I wanna do a couple of scriptures. Hey, if you've suffered through me in my presentation of the Creator, as long as you have, you can probably handle this. Um, I've said for years, uh, Job, uh, uh, when you're looking that book up, it's actually Job, but it's <laughs> pronounced Job, man's name. Uh, I put forth the idea that he had said for many years, the thing I feared has come upon me. Uh, I think, uh, um, allow me to read this, okay? Um, for the thing which I greatly feared is, this is Job, uh, chapter three, uh, verse 25. For the thing which I greatly feared is come upon me, and that which I was afraid of is come unto me. I was not in safety uh, before COVID. No, we really weren't. I was not in safety, neither had I rest, neither was I quiet, yet trouble came. I happen to think that's fantastic. Listen, there's one more little scripture I'd like to read for you. Um, John 14, uh, 1. Let not your heart be troubled. You believe in God, believe also in me. That's Jesus that is speaking. In my Father's house are many mansions, if it were not so, I, I would have told you. I go to prepare a place for you. And if I go and prepare a place for you, I will come again and receive you unto myself. That where I am, there ye may be also. And whither I go, ye. And whither I go, ye know. And the way you know, uh, Thomas, uh, he's the one who uh, had put his hand right in Jesus' side after the resurrection. And Jesus walked into a locked room where all the disciples were. Thomas, he wasn't there the first time. Uh, Jesus saith unto him, uh, I am uh, the way, uh, the truth, and the life. No man cometh unto the Father but by me. If you had known me, you should have known my father also. And from henceforth, you know him <clears throat> and have seen him. Here's the deal, okay? Uh, <clears throat> you, you, uh, you operate in fear if, if you choose. Uh, you operate any way you choose. It's your life. I, uh, I've said for years, I'm, I'm not very inclined to be afraid of much. Uh, 
it's, it's that's not altogether true. Um, but sometimes uh, fear is a little fear is a good thing. Uh, uh, I could go off on a little rabbit trail. I'm not going to. Um, you have been confronted, assaulted, really, with too much information in the area of fear. Too much hurt, too much pain, too much fear. The word debilitating, <clears throat> I happen to like that word. Um, that's what fear does to you. So we are confronted daily uh, with influences in this world uh, that would try to cause us to believe them to believe in perhaps elected officials, perhaps medical practitioners that have an agenda. Now, that is very entertaining. Why would a scientist have an agenda. I thought science was the purest. Well, mathematics is the purest of all sciences. Two and two. Uh, the simplicity of it reflects well the purity of it. Science wants you to be afraid to live. Science wants you to hang on every word uh, that comes forth from the scientist's uh, mouths. Problem. It's a real problem, children. Um, you have two sides uh, to the scientific resolution that is being perpetrated uh, upon us. You have a group that says COVID, worst plague we have ever had. That I don't think is the truth. The widest spread, yeah, that that is that is true. It's worldwide. And that group of scientists say wear a mask, uh, don't communicate, don't get out there, and say hello to the neighbor. Oh, whatever you do, do not, do not, never, never shake hands. The head guy uh, down in the States, his name's Fauci. Uh, oh, a wonderfully sincere uh, man. Uh, when he goes on camera, he, he, he's wearing two masks. Eh? I mean, there's no one in front of him. There's usually no one beside him. He's still wearing two masks. Fully vaccinated. Probably has already had COVID anyways. Uh, and a reporter asked him, uh, well, I mean, there are reporters, uh, interviewers, uh, who ask uh, questions that are not prepaid, pre-planned, according to the program, the agenda the game plan. Reporter said to uh, Fauci one day, uh, Fauci's hiding behind his mask, and uh, he says, uh, what about uh, my dating life? And Fauci says, pardon me? And a uh, reporter says, no, when I go on to my uh, 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 search uh, for a uh, uh, I'll paraphrase. Might as well. Can't dance. When I go on uh, 
my search for a, a, a lady for the night. Oh, whether to just go out for supper or... But he says, what happens if something magic happens? And uh, Fauci says, you mean you end up going to bed with, with a lady? And the reporter said, yes. Well, Fauci says, don't worry. It's only one person. And how long are you going to be together? The reporter looked at him like, all night, I hope. <laughs> hey, that's a reporter, that's not me. And um, Fauci says, this COVID's terrible, but don't you let it interfere with your sex life. What a stupid thing to say. I mean, oh, not the reporter, Fauci. Dear Lord God in heaven, I, I choose to believe in what I call God. I choose to read my old King James. I choose not to fear very much some little. Oh, when I was a kid, we used to have a saying, oh, gee, I was just about scared to death. Don't be scared to death, children. Just grab what life God has made available to you by the horns and live for God's sake. Live. Because that's what God wants, is for you to live. To be at peace with him, yes. Don't be afraid. That sucks. Oh, I've had a couple times, children, where uh, things were stacked pretty hard against me. And I kind of wondered how she was going to turn out. But if you have decided to uh, follow Jesus all the way, you have nothing to fear. Nothing. Oh, there may be a few little bumps on the road. Yeah. <laughs> yeah. <laughs> mm, yeah. But children, God loves you. The wisdom of the world is hidden behind several masks. The wisdom of the world uh, is taken both shots and the 22 or three booster shots. And they've already had COVID anyways, probably a couple of times. People die, eh? It's true. Doesn't mean you're going to. Doesn't mean you shouldn't take care of yourself. Doesn't mean that if you're a bit too heavy, get in shape, children. Doesn't mean you're impervious to the uh, wiles of the devil and the movement on the earth to cause you to be scared to death, cause you to be afraid to live, cause you to be hiding in a corner, in a basement somewhere. I'm in a basement apartment, so I, sorry about that. God loves you. Jesus Christ said, I am come that you might have life and more abundantly. John three sixteen, 
Y'all know that. For God so loved the world that he gave his only begotten Son, that whosoever believeth in him should not perish, but have everlasting life. If you, if you take the time, get over religion. I don't like religion. I don't like religions. I'm, I'm all in favor of church. I have been in a few good ones. Good preachers, few. Uh, if you can come to the place and you say, God, I am scared to hell. I don't have a clue what way to turn. I don't know what to believe. But God, if you are real, I wish to believe in you. So, how do you choose to believe in God? How do you define what God is? Mm, could read the Bible. You could say, uh, God, if you are real, would you please make yourself known to me in my heart? Okay? If you're real, I want to believe in you. If you're not, I don't. Pretty simple. What is God asking of you? Oh, that you be good? No, nope, not a hope in hell of that. No one can be good, good enough. It says, for all have sinned and fallen short of the glory of God. Everyone. I couldn't make it through a day without screwing up. And every time I screw up, I don't fall on my face and say, God, forgive me, forgive me. Jesus said uh, he is uh, going to sit at the Father's right hand. Fundamentally, he's making excuses to God for my bad behavior. I don't choose to be bad, and it's just a, it's a gift. <laughs> Sorry. So how do you be at peace with God? You simply say this, God, forgive me. I accept that Jesus Christ is your son, that he suffered, bled, and died on the cross as a sacrifice for me, an atonement for my sin, my sin that I own. I'm not stupid. I own my own sin. I just couldn't actually afford to pay for it. No way. Not and live. Because sin requires the shedding of blood. It was Jesus' blood that was shed for you. He suffered, bled, and died. He took all your sins. If, only if, you choose to say this simple prayer, God, forgive me. I recognize Jesus as your son. I am sorry. Help me to be what you want me to be. And Jesus takes your sin, all your sin, your fears, all your fears. You may have to get serious, get you a good friend who loves God. Enter into an understanding of Scripture. Trust Him. Trust God. Children, don't you take the coward's way out. I, I bet, I bet a lot of people have done that coward's way because it's hard when you figure you're alone. I'm alone, but I'm not alone because I asked God to forgive me when I was nine. I'm 72. I did not need, when I was two or three, to have anyone tell me there is a God, because I knew there was. Somehow, in my heart, I knew God and my mom, only two people on this earth who love me. Okay, my, my mom's gone home to be with my God. One day I'll get there. 
not in a rush. God bless. Don't be afraid, children. Don't let Satan, don't let the fear mongers scare you that bad. It's all right to have the hell scared out of you, but do it with some thought, okay? Intelligent thought. Think, process thought. Don't be motivated by fear. Be motivated by curiosity. God. Old Cowboy Jim says you're real. If you are, I'm interested. It's not going to be a hard sell. But you have to be real. God bless.